Hey guys! Okay, so we're at the uh, Move Tutor's place in CN Wood. Once again, this is not Mahogany Town, but it's about to be. I just want to grab something real quick, because now that Rock is a Haunch Crow, he has Sucker Punch as part of his default moveset. So we can actually teach that to Rock, and that would be a b it would benefit him to have that. I know I was talking up Swagger, but I think having Sucker Punch will be generally better, and I don't think anyone will disagree with me. Um, so let's go to Mahogany Town and we're going to finally do what I've been saying we were going to do forever. Um, I'm going to take the EXP share off of him because he's going to be doing some of the fighting. Um, Alright Lance, oh Dragonite Hyperbeam, he just Hyperbeamed that dude. What took you HPP? Uh, well let's see, I had to go get a rock for my bird. And that took me to a cave, a poison swamp, a crazy stormy beach, somebody's house, back in the cave, you know, that kind of thing. A strange radio signal is coming from here. Hmm, let's walk in with purpose. Unless he's got a Dragonite. Must be cool or something. The stairs are right here. Let's repeat, we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. Ah, you found the secret stairway. Somehow. Lance definitely knew it was there. Folks, Pokemon talk. Me meanwhile, gonna just change the atmosphere a little bit. All right, now we're in here. So this is the rocket hideout underneath Mahogany Town, and these Persian statues will cause stuff to happen when we cross them. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, bring it on, rocket. Bring it on. Oh no, a Zubat. Okay, so Rock is gonna be pretty good at taking these things out. Let's thief him, although I don't expect that they have held items. Man, he hits as hard as I was hoping. I gotta say, I feel vindicated in this, uh, stuff. I'm gonna fly for the Grimer. Venoshock, not that scary. If you're not gonna poison me first, what's the point of using Venoshock? It's like the curse of poison, or the, the hex of poison moves. You gotta poison me first. If he's got, a, if he's got an item, it's mine. You know, I don't think I put, I don't think I put Sigma back on the team, but just Sigma doesn't have much time left on the team. I was gonna keep Sigma on the team because one thing I wanted to talk about is one main difference between Sigma and Yoshi is Sigma learns fairy moves a lot quicker than Yoshi does, and Yoshi learned Disarming Voice that I didn't that I passed up on because and yeah, and you know me, but. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, or, yo, did I? I don't remember who I was saying learn the moves, but Yoshi was gonna learn Disarming Voice, and I passed up on it, not thinking, oh, that'll be a stab move eventually. Uh, Sigma, being a Sylveon, has already learned uh, Draining Kiss, which is a better fairy move, and Sylveon also learns Venosh uh, Venoshock, Moonblast, at level uh, 36, which is the most powerful fairy type move within reason, and the thing is, it learns Moonblast then, and Meganium learns Moonblast at level 80. <laughs> Meganium does not have very good access to fairy type moves, despite being a fairy type now. Um, it's really just Disarming Voice and Moonblast by level up, but Moonblast is way, way in the future, because as you notice, we're in our 30s right now, so you can picture it's going to be a long time before we get Moonblast. However, there is a TM of a good Fairy-type move that comes up relatively soon, so upon learning that, I don't feel quite as bad. Uh, <clears throat> nope. Ah, oh, of course it was Haze. Everybody gets hazed. Like, I don't feel quite as bad ditching Sigma early. He got to contribute to the team very well. And I feel like he got, he got his moments to shine just like everybody else did. But I wanted our last two slots on the team to go to people who are pretty physically oriented. So I didn't bother with, uh, 
didn't want to bother much more with that since we do have fairy coverage or will have fairy coverage with Meganium. Also, Sucker Punch, for those who don't know, is a dark type move that's 70 power and will always move first. Well, will only go if the opponent is using a move that deals damage, but will, you know, it's meant to be like a gut punch priority move that gets him before they get you kind of thing. Sucker Punch, good move. Thief is also really. Like, I don't think I remember Thief being 60 power, because that is definitely pretty strong. That is... He's kind of... He's kind of rolling over these things with Thief, of all moves. But, I mean, these are... These are basic rockets. They have... Like... Uh, ridiculously craptastic Pokemon. Except for the Haunters. Those are kind of cool, man. But even that... Like, they're weak to Dark, so they don't even stand a chance. The Zubats aren't... <laughs> the Zubats aren't, and they are crumbling, crumbling beneath the might of Honchkrow, which is another one of my favorite Pokemon. You guys are just getting to see a lot of my favorites here that are in the first four gens. <laughs> so, all that for a single Hyper Potion. Whatever, we all know I need the healing items. So that's another way to go. We're gonna, we're gonna take the, we're gonna go this way and go get this item though, because there's a rocket down here. Stupid blocked staircase. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound to trap that had traps to confound intruders like yourself. Okay, Magnemite is uh, not resistant to dark anymore, so we're gonna risk it. Go, sucker punch, get him. Yep, steel doesn't resist dark anymore. That's fun. <laughs> like, oh man. A nasty plot? No, he's not a special attacker, and he won't be. We already have a nasty plotter. Let's see if I can get the magneton too. Just to really no. Okay, that's gonna hurt a lot. Oh boy, I should have switched to. Uh... Oh my god. Poor bird. <laughs> he tries. Uh, uh, just switch to Humba. <laughs> should clearly switch to Gale. <laughs> Let Gale deal with it. He is poison immune. Although, does Gale have... No, she had poison touch, not corrosion. They can have corrosion, which means that poison moves can hit steel types. But we'll, we'll get this down and, and then get Honchkrow back up. I just wanted to risk the punch. Still did good damage anyway. Honchkrow is really hanging in there for exactly the reason I wanted him. Uh, I... Alright, what do you have to say? Alright, I'll divulge a secret about our hideout. The thing on the floor up ahead is a warp panel. If you step on it, you'll be warped back to the entrance. Okay. Team Rocket Oath. Steal Pokemon for profit! Exploit Pokemon for profit! All Pokemon exist for the glory of Team Rocket. Okay. Guard stats. That's a new one. Or is it an old one, but changed to be different? I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at that. Guard stats. That be on here? No. Guard stats. Prevent stat drops. Oh, okay. Zeke, who needs special defense? Ah, I have a Yoshi. Mm, don't have any more of those. Okay. So there's an item down there which we could get if we go through the trouble of battling more Team Rocket members. I'll just cut these battles out. They're just saying halt, and they just have Team Rocket Pokemon, so I'll meet you guys after these these specific fights. Okay, so we're back. Um, I beat those guys, healed Pokemon. I actually gave Hunchcrow the uh, amulet coin that we got a few videos ago. You know, it's a basically a mob boss Pokemon. Feels appropriate. Persian statue, it's a Hazaridly shiny. So let's see what this is. And it's a nugget. All that for a nugget. Got it. And so, we have two ways we can go here. We can go this way and find the warp panel, or we can go back up and do another one of these panels and then touch all the funny panels over there. So we're gonna do this this one as well, another person's at you. I wouldn't want to skip all of these, all of these, but this part is a lot of repetitive trainers. Like this specific part, tons of repetitive trainers who have basically the same Pokemon. The two that I fought in the part that I just skipped, all had exactly the same Pokemon, Zubat, Drowsy, and Haunter, that the first few rockets all had. 
So we're going to skip these two. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. We keep hearing to you trip a secret switch. Okay. That is somewhere. The warp panel will take us back. So up here, you have a bunch of floor tiles. The floor tiles all contain, I think it was Voltorb, Grimer, or Coffee. And if you step on the wrong one, you will have to fight a Pokemon. You can actually catch these, so if you want any of these Pokemon, you can just get it that way. Um, I run. Oh, you can't. That's right, you can't run from them either. Okay, you're gonna do self destruct. I didn't do Vino Shock. Please don't hit me with self destruct. Although I think in this game it doesn't do the massive defense drop. But it doesn't matter because Honchkrow is very powerful. Alright, so all of those. You can, you can walk your way down that way. There are some that don't have Pokemon on it, but I decided to go the south route. But that's what you cross if you go the north. So now we're in the actual main hideout. Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Also, Lance will heal you, so you don't actually have to go back out. Okay. Gale, you're just along for the ride here. <laughs> so we're gonna be fighting some more rockets, although these I'm actually gonna show, because these are not these are not repetitive Alarmo trainers. And they have different stuff. I mean, it's a Vidinat, so it's not that different. But... You know, what can you do? But they're not going to be too bad. They're basically the same levels as the stuff we were running into on Stormy Beach a few parts ago. Oh, Venomoth! Bet it's level 30? Nope, still 28. Oh, well, now I have flying damage, so you guys are pretty screwed. Normally my team would not have a good answer for that. Except for Ninetales. Ninetales is a good answer to that, but Hunchcrow is an even greater answer to that. But these are yet more trainers who really, really hate Yoshi. Like, Yoshi doesn't have really anything effective he can do against them. But you know what? Yoshi deserves a try. She deserves us to give it a shot. Door won't open. Well, duh! Has to have a password that only Team Rocket knows. Well, if you would tell me, that would be very helpful. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, they really hate Yoshi. That Pokemon is one Poison Fang away from killing Yoshi. And yet they chose poorly. <laughs> they chose very poorly. Maybe they don't have Poison Fang. I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, it's a Golbat. You teach Golbat Poison Fang. So, I don't know, man. Um, so, I think that might do it for this part. We'll see. Um, I will we'll catch you guys in the next one.